Hey guys, how's it going? I just wanted to start today off with a, a few weird things that have been going around around my base. So for starters, we've got this friend. I did not put him here. I don't know how we got here, but I'm pretty sure I know who did it. And then there have been these weird towers. So this one's up here by my ice farm, and I don't really know what it means. And what's even more mysterious is the sign is kind of, uh, kind of freaking out. I feel like it's trying to tell me something, but I really don't know what. And you see, that's not the only one. Down here, just outside my village, we have another. The other one was in stone, this one's in wood. So bizarre. Well, we're gonna ignore it. I hope nothing bad happens. And then if we come back to my base, I think we got a message from Deesky quite a while ago. Or not a message, a, a gift. Oh yeah. We'll definitely be using those. Let me sleep! Come on, it's nighttime. And on top of that, we recently traded him some ice for some mud. Pretty sweet deal since we still have to build half the Earth Kingdom. Yeah, this definitely isn't enough. But before we do that, I wanted to also grab one of these shulkers full of snow, make a million snow layers. Oh my gosh. Ah! <laughs> You did that to yourself. I did not push you off the edge there. Not this time. Your punishment is to stay there. That's so funny. And we are gonna add all these snow layers to the clouds. Well, you dropped. Is your master still up there? It's just another lead up there. Oh, and you're still up here too. Well, I'm a little confused, but not really all that concerned about it. Oh man, this feels so good, and it looks good too. Look at that, look at all that extra depth we get. I've been wanting to do this for so long. This is one of the reasons I did this in snow oh so long ago, was uh, not just for the depth, but also for a little bit of functionality. You know, so when you're running up the clouds, you don't have to jump quite so much. And then on top of that, it just kind of blends in, you know? Oh, are you lost too? That is so beautiful up this high. The sun's not even down yet, but the moon's coming over, over the horizon. That's cool. Alright, I plan to texture the whole thing, but so far I've only got the extra snow layers in added at the path. And I am so glad I did this. This is so nice! I am zooming! Still takes a while to get up here. I mean, it is a lot of clouds to climb. But just look at this! But now, into the heart of what we're doing today. Not that kind of heart. No, no, no. We've got to take all the mud that Deesky gave us. And I can't believe... Yeah, that's the last of it. Dang. We've used all our mud already. We may need some more. Yeah, with only a couple stacks of each type of mud, we are definitely going to need some more. I was thinking, though, maybe we could stack these up a little higher and even connect a few of these so that this whole place looks and feels a bit denser. But alas, the mud we received from Deesky was just the tip of the iceberg. We need tons more. So here we are back at Freb's mud farm. <laughs> Did I just say alas? <laughs> God, what century am I from? <laughs> now I've just got to remember how this thing works. I think it's pretty easy. I'll put the shulker here. Grab a stack of dirt to get started. Put the dirt here, right? With a crouch. Yeah, there we go. And then just hold down the left trigger. So while we're filling in this big block of mud, let's brainstorm a bit. I think what I'm gonna do is double the amount of buildings that we have in the Earth Kingdom and then light it up, and then once it's all lit, we can bring in our earthbenders. And then hopefully they've had enough time sitting in isolation 
They've been able to meditate and really focus and become one with the earth. I don't know. Maybe they needed some sand or some actual dirt instead of netherrack. That would make sense too. We are going to be here a while. So we finished generating all the mud here and then dug it all out and uh, I'm sorry, but this is probably going to drive a few of you nuts. I am missing one. Just one. Where did it go? Breathe. Breathe, Fluffy, breathe. Ooh, okay. So what do you say we take our mud back down to the Earth Kingdom here and turn it into some packed mud bricks and then continue adding onto our city. Yeah, this whole area over here looks a lot denser. Um, I think I want to add a couple more buildings back there and maybe some up here and then we should be able to light it up like this. Pretty amazing what one little boop can do. So we've got a whole bunch more buildings and I thought it looked a little flat so I added even a, a third level here. Um, it goes down the stairs. I added a whole bunch of little walkways across the tops of the, of the buildings and I found that uh, walls just like all shoved in together like this, they um, they can provide some pretty good natural light from above. And then yeah, we've got those walkways and these platforms that don't have walls around them, just kind of uh, just kind of like little coverings all over the place. Like we've got another one here. It just all comes together to really fill out the city. And then in the very back, we've got this big gong here. And, uh, and then of course we've just got torch spam everywhere. We're just keeping the whole place lit up so no mobs spawn in the middle of the night. And it's just about time to bring in the earthbenders. But first, we've got to meet up with Juggerite. Well, we were supposed to meet, but he's, uh, he's not responding. He's AFK, and I, I don't have hardly anything in my inventory. But I think we might be able to mess with him a little bit here. All right, let's try this. There we go. <laughs> I'm back to life. <laughs> I think he's here now. <laughs> I was going to see if you were at your base. I was going to save you a trip because I know it's a long trip out here. Oh, oh my gosh. This isn't all for me, right? Like, what? Wh which pieces? Oh, okay. You can take that just, one. It's yeah. already enchanted. Sweet. I was worried I wasn't going to have one that had uh, unbreaking on it. And there's the netherite ingot that I originally said. But, like, it took us so long to meet up. <laughs> it um, did. I, I, I'm going to give you another one before they add the changes and it's harder to upgrade <laughs> oh yeah 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 i can imagine that was startling to to walk in on <laughs> it, was, it was hilarious i like the door flapping like that all i could do was die laughing <laughs> <laughs> so i also uh wanted to check out your um, your labyrinth today so i i came by on the portal and you know it's not it's not too bad of a journey since i've got sonic Oh, uh, yeah, you, that does help. Yeah, so I tied him up here, but I don't have a second horse. Yeah, that's all right. I'll, uh... You'll, you'll hoof it? Yeah, I'll hoof it. Uh, I have a horse, but he's, like, super slow. Like, I'm still in the market to buy a good one, like, if you're still doing that. <laughs> I, I am. We could probably breed you up one real quick. Let's go... God, I haven't been here in a while. I th think it's... This this one? Is this a shopping? Yeah, shopping district's over here. Here we are. Yeah, like he just zooms, doesn't he? That, he really that, does. That's like a perfect name for him. Oh, he got out! <laughs> wow, and like, in a, <laughs> as soon as you got off, he was like, gone. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> I guess that's it, one of the drawbacks. Like, you gotta have your lead in hand or something. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Make sure you close the fences before you get off, stuff like that. You know, if you breed up your own horse, 
I'll, I'll even give you half off. How about that? Yeah, so in here, grab these. Be real gentle. Oop. Yeah, so you got to kind of like aim down and then at the horse. And uh, the speed effect only lasts for 11 seconds. So then you've got to have your carrots in hand, too. <laughs> so we've got yeah, another Sonic. Cool, but... I will, I will do it myself. <laughs> yeah, I was about to say. I think I'm gonna let you handle this. This is the this is the other problem. Is they like tornado around each other for so long. They're like trying to get close to each other and then passing each other. This is this is kind of the reason that I stopped breeding them past generation twenty. They just got so hard to do it because of how fast they are, huh? Yeah, yeah. Do I have any hay bales in that chest up there? No, we got plenty of golden carrots though. Will the baby eat the golden carrots? Yeah, I got too? I got almost a stack of golden carrots, and I have yeah. more in my inner chest. All right, that's about how fast he goes. You want to test him out? Have you have you met Slow Ride? <laughs> <laughs> no. Oh yeah, that's that that's plenty fast enough for me. Love each other. Love each other. There we go. Nice. Okay, I think that one's probably gonna be pretty good too. No, 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 no. Get back here. Get back here, you little punk. Well, we finally did it. We got we got back together and I got my elytra and you got your um you got your speedy horse. Yeah. Now I'm just gonna have to get uh, everybody to come up with a and to use the comments to come up with a name for him. Well, uh, let's go back through the the Nether portal and check out your labyrinth real quick. I left my leads over uh, over at the stables. I think I have leads in my inner chest. I'm pretty sure. Where, man, my my horse keeps running off before I can get through the portal. Yeah, they're that, that's the thing. I know I'm gonna have to keep a lead on me when I have this guy now because <laughs> oh you know what? I think the shulker with my leads is actually back at my base. So let's see if I have oh my goodness, if I have any uh in these chests anywhere maybe. Let me see if I can just go drop off Sonic back at my base because oh, yeah, it's pretty close leads by. right here. Oh you do? Uh, yeah. All right. I will. I will be back in just a moment. I'm already halfway home. I can kind of give you a brief little deal. I was hoping you would. So you're gonna want to strip down and throw everything in the chest. Make sure you set your spawn uh, in easy mode. Death is pretty unlikely, but uh, you never know. Each side of the door here, um, <laughs> one of these barrels has golden carrots, and one has leather boots. So that you got a little bit to get you going. Um, in easy mode, that's pretty much it. That's what you're... That's, that's what it? You get. That's it. There's no more gear to acquire or anything. Um, once you go through this door, you're going to have a maze. And you got to find a bubble column to get up to make the choice of which mode you're going to participate in. Okay, I hear a so, lot of groaning and, and scary noises. And you're not going to give me any tools to fight that, huh? There should be no way for any mobs to spawn in easy mode. Alrighty. Well, I, uh, I guess I'm headed in. All right, where are we going? Where are we going? How's it going in there? It's, uh, it's, it's going so far. I don't think, uh, I, I don't think I'm finding the right, right spots to go, but I've already hit like three dead ends. <laughs> The cool thing, though, is once you get the, because this maze is actually pretty easy. Once you find the exit, like next time you come in, um, it, it's like a little sampler, basically. <clears throat> so, um, you know, getting to the labyrinth choices is actually pretty easy once you get it figured out. Whoa. And you just, <laughs> uh, I think I just found it. <laughs> And I was, uh, I was not prepared for it. I just kind of like stepped into it on accident. And then it took me up. All right, well, I'm, I'm going to end it easy. I just entered easy mode. And I realized I didn't have my leather boots on. So we <laughs> equipped those. 
but it is dark in here, man. Oh yeah. I thought the, the darkness would kind of help go with the theme. And I wanted it to be something you, you know, necessarily wouldn't take forever to the point where you get frustrated because you can't figure it out. But I didn't want it to be like super simple where it wasn't pleasurable either because I get mixed around in there. <laughs> and I <laughs> built it, so... <laughs> I, I've, I kind of stumbled upon one more lit area and then I turned a corner and there's this Enderman head. It spooked me while you were talking to me. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> ah, another one. <laughs> and me personally, maybe it's just the the device I'm using. Um, you know, just has high contrast or something. But uh, I I would appreciate more glow lichen or something in here. It's like like everything's pitch black. Well, I okay. Maybe maybe uh, um maybe my uh, brightness is up really really high. Okay, so that's that's feedback. Yeah, uh, a little more light so you can actually see. I mean, you do have to be able to see. Yeah, I totally agree with that. Yeah, let me see if I can turn up my brightness at all. Oh, brightness is already 100 for the game settings. Yeah, that's where mine's up at. I can so, turn it up on my iPad. That might help a little bit. It does. Oh, and I think I went in just a circle here. Oh, and there's some more fall damage. Oh, I, uh... Was that you taking fall damage? Yeah, but I didn't <laughs> strip down or nothing. I just realized that. So I'm kind Whoa. of cheating. Oh, yeah, I see it here. On the other side of the wall. Hello? Oh, I saw you fall. Well, and these walls are pretty tall, too. So even if there wasn't, like... The... You know, even if there wasn't like uh, light, like at the level that the player is, you could put like full lanterns or glow lichen up really high and it would light it up just enough, you know? That's just one of the details, I guess, that uh, slipped by me that others might not be able to see. Oh, here's another bubble column. Oh, that's oh, do I want to go up that again? I feel like I'm going in circles here. That, that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> and you made the place. Right. That's the sad part. I don't even see anywhere else to go. All right, bubble column it is. Yeah, I've already been up this one. Dang it. I see your name tag, too, and I'm like... I know. <laughs> you see me hitting all the dead ends. I'm like, is that where I just was, or...? <laughs> <laughs> Because I kind of feel like I'm going, like you, like you said, like you're going in circles, right? Yeah. Wait, this feels new to me. I don't think I've been here yet. I'm like at this like really narrow corridor between the top of a bu bubble column and the bottom of a bubble column. Uh -oh. oh, am I supposed to drop down here? I don't know. Oh, you made it out? Yeah, finally. <laughs> Man. It is it is really tricky, but if you can't really see, then that's a little more than uh, what I was looking for. So I definitely got to go in there with more glow like and now that I know. Maybe I'll like uh, take my brightness down uh really low and go in there so that i know that it's gonna be okay for everybody oh my gosh i did it yes oh my gosh we made it out <laughs> so you should have a point i have a point yeah did it go in your inventory oh yeah it did look at okay. that i got cool. a point <laughs> so i know that works <laughs> i don't even know where that came from Good job. So you can add your point in the book there, so that uh, it, that's like our high score log. Concrete. And then, where do like I that. put this point? Um, when you make it down to the thing, back to the main room here, um, there's barrels lined up, and everybody has their own barrel. Oh, nice. And okay. 
Yeah, so you can just kind of store your points in there until you get enough for, you know, whatever you're trying to buy or whatever. Hopefully you enjoyed it, even though it was a little darker in there than, you know, I expected it to be. Um, yeah, I think it took me a little longer than it might have if I had been able to see. Because I was kind of just like wandering, just running into stuff. That That's one of the reasons why I put it, uh, wanted to put it in the gaming district, just something to do for fun. Like, I mean, you got, we could do it in groups or, you know, just however it plays out, I guess. And I did it, feel like it was more fun once you joined in and I could see you kind of like going up and down and like getting close to me through the wall and all that. <laughs> right. Yeah. I want to, yeah. I, I was kind of curious about that too. Cause I've run it myself and I mean, seeing you run around in there. Yeah. It did seem that way. Cause you're like exactly like I was saying, like, are you where I just was? Like, are we running yeah. in the same circles and not crossing paths or what? Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, going in circles alone, you just kind of feel lost and abandoned, <laughs> you know? <laughs> it's nice to have a buddy in there with me also suffering. <laughs> Don't forget your stuff. <laughs> oh, it's of course, yeah. <laughs> I had so much coffee, I got halfway back to my base before I realized I left my elytra. <laughs> <laughs> well, man, this was a lot of fun. Yeah, I yeah, uh, it really was. And uh, thanks for uh, whatever his name ends up being. <laughs> <laughs> we'll figure I'm it sorry out. About Sonic Jr. <laughs> yeah, it's all right. We've, uh, you know, created several more. All right, man. I'll see you later. See you soon. Well, that was some good fun. Uh, it did take a bit longer than I anticipated, though, so we are all out of time. If you were confused about what we were doing with the horses, go watch this video. And if you want to see Juggerhead's perspective, go watch this video. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!